So, a uh, lot of complaint because it was in French, so now I've just put it in English, that way everybody will be able to see. This used to be a, this is the garage, it used to be a U-shaped house, like this, with the garage on the left. A bathroom here, kitchen, U-shape, with a living room, another bathroom with a small room and a bedroom with a closet, and a big master bedroom with a closet also. This is the AC, you cannot really move it. Uh, they built like a Florida room that they kind of covered uh, to make two rooms uh, which has like two partition with uh, each one a door and an awful door going outside to the new Florida room that they built outside like this with uh, poles. Uh, this is built in wood with a flat roof also. So the idea at the beginning was to have the bedroom next to the bathroom. I would just close the door open a door here, leave the shower as it is, put toilets here and a little corner sink over there. That way people will be able to access their bedroom. Um, then the living room will be on the right side. Uh, we take this partition out. It's a diagonal with the kitchen. This opening will go to the living room. I don't like it. It's just not logical to be diagonal with the kitchen. So this is the drawing that I've made. Uh, once I've done the survey, uh, I've noticed that there was like some uh, differences, but minor. Dell, our architect friend, uh, had a great idea to basically uh, get rid of the bathroom inside the kitchen, which is uh, pretty logical because right now it doesn't help. That makes a big kitchen. So here we have the bedroom, which is would be now on the right with a new bathroom that will have to be built outside the house. So we will have to have a new slab, a new roof. Uh, Dale was thinking of having a door going outside to the garden, which was a pretty nice idea, but it's, you know, uh, more money. We will have a closet also in that bedroom. And uh, then uh, Dale wanted us to have center line to center all the opening, like this opening, with, for instance, the door at the top and the French door at the bottom that goes in the new Florida room and same here we will have the opening now that will that is existing will have to be centered with the main window and then center with a door that goes out in the Florida room all this is a, a great idea but it will cost a lot of money because we will have to build I mean to destroy uh, walls and everything so I uh, done the drawing as you can see I took this out now we have a big kitchen I took this partition out that we will have like a, a flat area like a bar area and I will do the drawing as soon as we have the chance uh, this will be uh, an opening where you would see the people in the dining room we leave this opening as it is we will just uh, center this door that goes into the Florida room we will just uh, center it uh, to this opening here on the top we have a better view now, so you see that this uh, room, uh, the door will not be centered then to that room, but it's okay because this passage will be centered. Now, uh, this opening will be left as it is, we will just add a French door um, to, to be able to go to the bedroom, um, but this cannot be centered with the window on top of it, it will cost too much money. And we will not have to break uh, this huge wall. Here it's like a closet, a closet door. And here we'll keep this idea but with a corner, a shower, toilet and sink. And uh, no door that will go uh, out the outside. Here we have the bathroom that will be a, a nice Italian shower uh, that have to be totally redone. Some of you might wonder what are those little rectangle shaped things. Those are floor grid for the AC. The AC is actually under the house. Uh, all the ducking are under the house and it comes from uh, this place uh, which is like a, a big pit and uh, so the air is sucking in from here. And that's it.